Hey, my name is Corin. <laughs> and I'm Andy. And together we make Acorn Gaming. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, so today's video we're going to talk about how we play video games. And that, that might seem like kind of a strange topic, but I think what I really want to get across in this video is our, our mentality while we're playing video games. My mentality is, is very, very rush intensive. Like, I like being really aggressive. I like being in the middle of the action. I always, I, I like, I hate sitting still. I love to run forward and rush the spawn and just shoot at everything and rely on my reflexes to beat the enemy. That's how I have fun. And I, I really like to use everything in my arsenal. I like, I like to have everything be fast. I don't, I don't use frags or semtex because one, frags are slow, semtexes don't kill anyone. C4 is just my quickest option. Like all, all the perks I use are generally set out to do everything quickly, like slide out of hand pro, quick drop pro, throw everything faster because that's how I like to play. Um, being aggressive, of course, has its drawbacks. I don't really play the objective as much. I mean, I do like to win, but in the end, like winning is honestly just to me some words on a page on the screen that don't really affect me anyway. I mean, if, if I lose a game and I, I had a ton of kills and I had a lot of fun, I don't, I don't really mind. At the same time, if I get a lot of kills and a lot of deaths, but I still find the game exciting, I'm probably still going to save it and share it with you guys because what I find exciting, hopefully I find exciting for you guys. Ideally, the way I play this game is to be really, really exhilarating when I play. And when, I, when I'm having a fun time, I hope that you guys will too, because I don't know how that guy didn't fucking die there. <laughs> but it wasn't even a hit marker on him. I know, right? But like, that, that's just things I love using C4. Like, I don't see many people use C4 the way I do. It's like it goes where I can't go for a quick kill. And like, here's an example of like how I help Andy out. He he's capping the point right now, and I go forward to buy him some time and kill off the enemy so they don't just run there and nade him. And how we, how we work together will come in a little bit later. So I think I've given my spiel on how I like to play. And you want to go ahead and say how you play? Yeah, sure. Uh, unlike Corn, I am, or I love to win, pretty much. I'm super competitive in that aspect, uh, and I will sacrifice my KD to do so. So for objective games like this, uh, I'm always going for the points, even if that means dying a whole bunch of times. Uh, but similar to Korn, like I, I love a fast gameplay. I hate sitting around and camping. I think it's a waste of my time if I do that, and I don't have a very long attention span, so I get bored pretty easy. Um, but yeah, I like to run and gun. Unfortunately, my oh, those guys just kissed. I know they like <laughs> came together for me like a dove, like dove heads. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What was I talking about? Ah, uh, you're talking about winning. Yeah. And not and just, sacrificing your KD to win. Yeah, well, I was just talking about something I forgot. Oh well. Um. But like, oh yeah, unfortunately, like Corn, my aim and reflexes aren't as good as his. I think he, you you play on a ten, right? Yeah, I also do that. Yeah, nice suicide. Um. I play on an eight, so it's like, it's. A little slower, but I just actually moved up to eight, so my accuracy is way off. Um, but maybe if I play a whole bunch more, it'll get better than that. But yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, <laughs> I mean, I'd say I'd say, the, I'd say the I'd say it's the... hard for me to describe how I play. I just basically a little slower than corn, objective based mainly. Winning, yeah. winning for me is gets my confidence up. Yeah. Oh, on a side note, this is like the game of like 500 million EMPs, and I think this is where it starts. Um, the the other, the other team was just full of tryhard assholes. One of them, one of their names was like was actually like I love EM1, which is obviously I love EMP, which is also I'm a fucking dick. <laughs> so yeah, honestly, I think we only had the UAV for like. We we have like literally more fuzzy screen than we do clear screen, so God, it's yeah. so terrible. Anyway, anyway, so I, like I think the difference between us is more is more in uh, like this like kind of intangible mentality. I mean, you, you prefer to win, and uh, I prefer to I prefer to win in a sense. It, it's right, something right, that's right, also yeah. really hard to explain from a it's like a gamer's perspective it's sort like of a thing. Moral, a moral victory. It's it's a, it's, it's, yeah, it's a moral victory in terms of skill. Like the way I play, I, I love to 
to exhibit my skill, I suppose, and that's that's right. what I that's what I do when I rush into a spawn. I just like to throw myself into insane situations and see if I can shoot my way out. And oftentimes I can't. A lot of times I just get my ass whipped. But I mean, I have fun because I was it was it was so exciting for me. Like I, I ran into an enemy spawn. I don't know. I was like running on top of his head there. Like that, that I think weird. there's a little ledge, but it looked like it. I know that, that weirded the shit out of me. But yeah, I, my my victories are more in terms of skill, and it it's not it's not necessarily winning. I would say, it's just being better. I mean, right. like, winning an individual gunfight is way more important to me than winning in like on a scoreboard. And that that's why that's why I don't attribute much uh, to winning the game in air quotes. <laughs> I, I I like to win my own gunfights and like place my skill against someone else's and beat theirs. And that, that that is eas most easily facilitated by me rushing at them, and rushing at them, and rushing at them, just constantly. Like I got, I mean, yeah, I could sit around a corner and then wait for a dude to walk by and then tag him in the back. That doesn't really prove I'm a better player than him. Yeah, that might just, make me that might make me the winner in search and destroy, but it'd be a, it'd be a hollow victory for me. Right. So moving on, I. I think the, the most important thing about this video that I want you guys to take away is that playing together is always, always better. And the reason why that I might... I mean, there's no reason why you can't have everything, right? There's no reason why you can't have like a fast-paced uh, skill game and still win, right? Yeah, of course not. A, lo a lot of what we do together is both have our own fast-paced gameplay and then win the objective game part too. Ideally. I do. Andy, like you saw in like the first like few minutes or so, Andy would capture a point, and then I don't know how this guy did not get stunned. Oh god. Stun, stuns and flashes are so frustrating for me. Yeah, but I, I throw them all the time just because if I'm gonna be running in there, I, it's nice to know. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. So we we have like a, a kind of team effort sort of deal going on. Like Andy will sometimes go capture the objective while I go forward and buy him some time. And that's just that's a perfect example of how we work together as a team. I mean, not you don't you wouldn't win if you had a team of all slayers like me. You might actually win if you had a team full of Andes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But like, uh, well, like if you were like me, except more objective focused, yeah, you probably yeah, sure. exactly. Well, the point is like having diversity on your team is really important, just just as it is obviously in real life. I mean, you can't be the same person and win everything. Andy, Andy and I work really well together in that. He'll do something like like go for the objective, and then I can just go for it and suppress them and kill them. Yeah, and I'll like I'll make callouts if a point is getting capped or something, and while Corn's busy, like destroying everyone else, he can like I'm like his eyes basically for the re to the rest of the game or whatever. I guess. Yeah, a lot, a lot <laughs> of the time, like our teammates are absolutely useless. God, and nine times out of ten. Yeah, like ran random people, and it might not even be that they're bad at the game. It'll be that they won't communicate. Like the a, a, right. really important to winning in this game, both skill-wise and objective-wise, is communicating with the team. Because I mean, if Andy doesn't even tell me this guy behind me, how can I possibly beat him if I don't know he's there? Yeah. And if I keep, if we just keep dying because we're like so disorganized, how are we ever going to win the objective? Exactly. Yeah. And even beyond like winning, I mean, th this is also a part of winning. But playing together is just playing fun. I mean, yep. <laughs> playing playing infected with Andy is like, <laughs> and, and another guy of ours, uh, Hoffy, we'll, we'll probably have some videos from him later. Um, playing playing infected with those guys is like the most fun I've ever had on this game, and it, it didn't even have to do with us winning an objective game or not. It was just us like, literally just playing zombies and like trying to kill each other, and <laughs> we just we just had a good laugh. Yeah. I mean, in in the end, that's what these are all about, and for a lot of people. Like uh, Andy, partly. Oh God, fuck that guy. <laughs> partly, partly. I think I don't think it's that important to you, but some people like are just so focused on winning. Like if if they don't win, they cannot have a good time. Right. I mean, I, like, I don't think you're that way, but right. Even though, like, we'll see. If I was playing and I by myself and I would lose, I get so frustrated. But like playing with you, it's fun because you have good game plays and like it's fun to watch you destroy teams 
Yeah, and it's, it's, like, fun, it's fun to just talk to each other while you're playing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, if, if you're watching this video and you always play alone, like, hit up a friend and, like, or yeah. go make some friends. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have any uh, friends, you're out of there. If you don't have any friends, you're out <laughs> Because talking to random people in, in this game is just weird as shit. Anyway, um, yeah, just hit up a friend and just, like, get into a game together and, like, shoot the shit. Like, um, I, a, lot, a lot of having fun in this video game for me is also just, like, talking with Andy and just, like, uh, getting giving each other little fanboys when we when we do something cool, and uh, just just like talking with them. It's therapeutic, really. It really is therapeutic, and at the same time, it's rage inducing. Yeah, it's stressful yeah. and therapeutic at the same time. Yeah, and I, I think the game is coming to a close. In the in the end, as you can see, we lose by one point, and I did I didn't know because we had been EMP'd for so long. I didn't realize. <laughs> The score was not so, or the score was so close, and unfortunately we had another devastating loss with uh, Mr. Three and Thirty down there. Well, yeah, and end of story. Play together.